Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you what I got in my Sephora VIB sale haul. I didn't get a ton of things, but I got some things that I guess I wouldn't have normally purchased, but since it was 20% off, I went ahead and bought it. So if you would like to see more, then please keep watching. So first of all, I ordered my stuff from Sephora online and I just received it in the mail today. So I opened it earlier today and I actually opened like everything and like swatch stuff on my hand and try some of the things out already. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner and this is the product. I used this today to clean all of my brushes because I really needed to clean my brushes and I don't have any brush cleaner. I normally would just use like soap and water to clean my brushes. So since I got this, I really wanted to try it and I love this. It works so well. It's so easy to use and it's really fast. So this is supposed to dry quickly. It says quick dry and rinse free formula. So you pretty much just pour a little bit into a small container, dip your brush in it really fast, like dip it in for one second. Then you could wipe it onto either like a paper towel or a washcloth, a towel, anything. And you'll see all the makeup coming out of your brush and you just keep doing that until the makeup brush is clean and there's no more makeup coming out of it and then you can just let them dry and then once they're dry you can use them and it's supposed to disinfect your brushes I guess if you use it correctly that's what it says it's supposed to disinfect your brushes and clean them and it leaves like a kind of a vanilla fragrance it smells really good <laughs> after you're after you're done cleaning them they smell good like the brushes smell good and they look clean and so I'll show you some of the brushes that I cleaned real quick with it <laughs> so as you can see, these all kind of like look like they're brand new and especially like you could tell with these two because they are like dual fiber. They have the white tip on the brush and they look like perfectly clean. They look brand new and I cleaned these earlier today and they're already dry and ready to use. I already used these on my face today. Not these ones, but the other brushes that I cleaned and I really like that. I'm so happy I got it. I'm probably going to buy the big size next time because even though this so it was full when I got it. So I used that much to clean all my brushes and I have like at least 20 brushes probably. So you don't need a lot for each brush at all, but I'm definitely gonna have to get some more once I run out of this, but I'm so happy I got this. Okay, the next product that I'm gonna share is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Correcting Cream. So the box says it's anti-aging and skin loving. It has colloidal oatmeal, hydrolyzed collagen, avocado, and aloe in it. It's developed with plastic surgeons and dermatologists and is clinically tested, cruelty-free and paraben-free. So it says apply to clean, moisturized skin. Blend with your favorite It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush for flawless color correcting coverage. Wear alone or under makeup. And it's a transforming neutral beige. I'll show you what the actual product looks like. So it comes in this little like jar. <laughs> It's pretty small, but I used it today for the first time. Um, depending on what video I upload and edit first, I might upload this one first or I might upload the one where I actually do my makeup. But that's what I have on my face right now and I really like this. When it goes on your skin, it dries matte. This is the first time I've used it is today, but when you go when you put it on your skin, it dries matte, but it feels really creamy and doesn't feel like it's drying your skin out at all. It's really easy to blend and it, the point of this product is it's supposed to get rid of your redness and it does that for sure. Like you only need a little bit on your brush and you blend it out all over your face and it completely covers all your redness. So I'm really impressed by this and also considering that they only have one shade that's supposed to fit like the majority of skin tones they say. So I feel like it would only really work though for like fair to light or medium skin tones. I don't think this would work for darker skin tones because I'll show you what the actual color is. I think it would be too late. I'm not sure, maybe it transforms, but I don't know. <laughs> this is the color of the product in the jar. So as you can see, it's like, it looks a little bit darker than the skin tone on my hand, but when you blend it out on your face, it kind of like matches your own skin tone so again i'm not sure how it would work on deeper skin tones but if you have skin tone similar to mine or maybe a little bit lighter or darker i think that this would work for you so the next product i got is the anastasia beverly hills brow powder duo and i got the shade ash brown like this i've never used the anastasia beverly hills brow powders this is what the shade looks like and i used it on my brows today over my NYX Microbrow Pencil. I ordered this shade because I wanted something that was a little more 
cool tone like ashy because when I do my brows with the chocolate micro brow pencil they look a little bit too warm and I, so I wanted something to kind of like deepen them and make them look a little bit more cool toned but I'm not sure about this because I feel like it made my brows a little bit too dark and I ended up going over it with a different brown shadow the one I usually have been using from Carly Bybel the Carly Bybel palette so I might exchange this for a different color I'm not I'm not sure yet but the actual product itself I don't think is bad I just don't think I got the right color the next product is the Anastasia contour kit and this is in the shade light to medium that's the box I'll show you the actual thing so it comes in a cute little box like this and I haven't used this yet but this is what the shade look like for the light to medium kit and the top ones are obviously the highlighting shades the bottom row is the contouring shades I'm excited to try this out. I, I've never used Anastasia contouring powders or creams or anything before, so I was really excited to try this, so I'll see how that works. So the next thing I got is the Too Faced Let It Glow Highlight and Blush Kit, and it comes in this cute little box. It comes with a candlelight glow, and it's in this cute little package. That's what the product looks like. And then it also comes with a Love Flush blush in the shade Love Hanover. It's so cute. It's so tiny. This isn't the normal size. This is the miniature version, but I think it's really cute because I've never tried the Too Faced blush like these blushes before or the highlighter or the bronzer that it comes with, so I wanted to try them out, and I don't care that they're the little sizes because I think it's perfect for trying out new products. And then also comes with a Snow Bunny Luminous Bronzer, which looks like that. So, oh, and then it also came with this cute little brush it says Too Faced and it's a little heart and then the actual brush itself is like so soft I'm excited to try this out it's pretty dense but it's really soft the last thing that I got is this Sephora favorites extravagant eyes smoky eye essentials and extras <laughs> so it's a kit of Sephora favorites basically and it comes with some false eyelashes a primer and then the rest are kind of like mascaras and eye, other eye products like eyeshadows. One of the reasons why I really want to try it is it comes with the Huda Beauty Samantha number no. 7 false lashes. I don't have any false lashes. I've only tried false lashes like once or twice in my life. I just I've never gotten the hang of it so I really wanted to try them out again and these sell on Ulta's website for like $20 each I think. The whole box was $42 so just this by itself is already like half the price of the whole box so I thought that was a great deal just to get to get these to try them out. It came with a NARS eyeshadow. This is in the shade Himalaya. It's a dual intensity eyeshadow and this is what the color looks like. This is actually a pretty big like single eyeshadow. I don't know what the normal size is for the NARS eyeshadows but I think this one's pretty big. They also came with a Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner, and this is just a gold glitter eyeliner. And then it also came with the brand Milk Makeup Eye Pigment in the shade Silent Disco. This is the little tube it came in. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. So this is how it looks when you blend it out. It kind of like, it's a cream, but then I think it dries to a powder, and it's like shimmery, but it's not like sparkly. I just think it's really pretty. And then it also came with a Marc Jacobs mascara, Mega Lash Volumizing Mascara. And it's like a little travel size, trial size. And then the mascara brush looks like that. I like these. These are like my favorite types of brushes, so I'm excited to try that. It came with a Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. So then there's the Laura Mercier Plum Caviar Stick Eye Color. This looks like a full size. I don't think it would come any bigger than this. It's pretty much like a stick eyeshadow. And I'll show you what it looks like on my hand. So it's kind of, it's pretty similar to the other shade, but it's a little bit darker and it's not shimmery. It's more like a matte shade, but I think this one's really pretty as well. For a smoky eye and then the last little product it came with is a sephora waterproof contour eye pencil and it's just like a little it looks like a mini little eyeliner just like a basic 
black eyeliner. Anyway, that completes this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you got anything during the Sephora VIB sale and if you got anything the same or what you got or anything. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!